Hackers stole the corporate password of every New York Times employee. 53 personal computers were accessed, including current and former bureau chiefs in China, David Barboza and Jim Yardley. We brought in the FBI, and the FBI said, um, as did AT&T, that this had all the hallmarks of hacking by the, the Chinese military. After publishing an article alleging former Chinese Premier Wen Jiabao's family amassed a multi-billion dollar fortune, the Times received threats from China that there would be consequences, according to Mark Franz. The Times then noticed suspicious activity and brought its computer security experts from Mandiant. They found at least 40 hacker groups called Advanced Persistent Hacker Units. They were assaulting the Times systems, but that's not all. We've also seen them go after specific users that had to do with China, specific documents and other data, uh, stealing data that was in line with uh, the Chinese interests, as we saw in the New York Times case. That's how they knew the attacks were coming from China. The Wall Street Journal also reported on Thursday that Chinese hackers tried to access information about its China coverage. I think that any media company doing real reporting about uh, government activity that a government might be embarrassed or or feel fearful of uh, is open to this sort of cyber espionage. And it's just something we're all going to have to live with and deal with and figure out. It's a, it's a different world in the sense of the security profile that companies and individuals need to, to deal with um, from here on in. According to the Associated Press, the Obama administration is currently preparing a new national intelligence estimate. It's a report that would detail the threat of cyber assaults, particularly from China, and how that affects the economy. It's seen as a sign that the U.S. will take a tougher stance against cyber attacks from the Chinese regime.